Look what we got here. As always, guys, we really appreciate it. If you would like to subscribe and leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. All right, so a lot of you probably seen our PCs on social media. Check out our Instagram and Twitter for some amazing content. And a lot of these PCs feature a custom link pooling system like the ones behind me. You know, a water block GPU or a water block CPU. So the question is, why do we do this? More specifically, why do people custom liquid cool their PCs? Okay, so let's first address the elephant in the room. And that is a liquid cool PC looks arguably better than an air cool PC. So whether you're going hardline tubing or flex tubing, you know, you have the routing, the bends, the curves, plus the fittings, everything looks simply amazing. And as we all know, a better looking PC will make you a better gamer. But aside from good looks, what other benefits does liquid cooling a PC have? Well, the obvious is performance. You guys pay a lot of money to get the parts that you want and you want to protect those parts as much as you can from damage. And one way your parts can get damaged is through too much heat exposure. So once your core components gets too hot, it'll throttle itself back and that means reduced performance. So we have five core parts for a custom liquid cooling system. The water blocks, the reservoir, the pump to circulate the liquid, the tubing, and the radiators. Okay, so liquid cooling compared to air cooling has a higher thermal conductivity, which means it can transfer heat more efficiently. And what that means is when your GPU and CPU gets too hot, the liquid inside the wire blocks can move that heat away from the parts quicker. So here's a very simple overview on how it all works. Warm liquid from the wire blocks gets circulated to the radiator. The radiator acts as a large heat sink, cooling the liquid flowing through the loop. The cooler liquid then flows back into the reservoir. Then the pump recirculates the cooler liquid back to the CPU and GPU. Now the radiator, that's the main cooling mechanism for the system. So a larger radiator will essentially act as a larger heat sink. So the bigger the radiator, for example, your 240 versus 120 millimeter, the better the cooling performance because there's a larger surface area to absorb all that heat. There is another benefit to liquid cooling a PC and that is the noise reduction. Now, although you are removing fans and replacing them with other fans for the radiator, the added benefit is that you can run these radiator fans at a lower RPM for less noise and still get a better cooling performance and you're removing the GPU fans, which can be one of the loudest parts in a PC. So you know this wouldn't be a complete video without looking at the other side. So what are some of the negatives of a liquid cool PC? So first of all, there is more risk involved in liquid cooling. And what I mean by that is there's more failing points involved. So say for example, you have a pump failing or a cracked reservoir, or maybe you have a fitting that's not secured on the tube. And if these fails happen, they are more difficult to fix than say a fan not working on a stock air cooler. So there's also the factor of price. Liquid cooling a PC is more expensive. As it's still a premium feature, you will be paying that premium for those added benefits. And not to mention the additional parts you have to buy like the water blocks, the radiator, tubes, fittings, and the reservoir. But for many people, those negatives don't outweigh the positive benefits you get from liquid cooling a PC, like the performance increase and the noise reduction. And sometimes you just want a PC that looks sick. So I guess the question is, should you liquid cool your PC? Well, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're into heavy overclocking, then yeah, a liquid cooled system will for sure give you more performance than an air cooler. If you just like the awesome look of a liquid cooled PC, then yeah, for sure do it. But I think more importantly, if you want to maximize your hardware and eliminate thermal throttling, then a custom loop PC is definitely something you want to look for. At the end of the day, there is no right or wrong way to cool your PC. Whether you're going air cooling or a custom loop, we're all part of that PC master race. So just enjoy gaming, content creation, whatever it is that you do on your PC.